you're hearing any uh, music in the background um, I do not own the copyrights and two it's not my music um, wanted to chat this quick um, do this quick video with you guys I haven't do I haven't did any video um, for the past month or was it three weeks I don't know I'm not sure but I want to talk about my son I want to talk about you guys children your husband and so on and dealing with um menopause and premenopause um my son has been a source of comfort for me he's been a great help that's my last child he's 16 years old uh, my twins they, they do not live with me so um it's the little one is there and because um it's me and him alone you know i try to don't let him see everything that i'm going through but he's so loving and so caring and I really need him. I appreciate him and I need him a lot because I got times when I like I feel like I can't even move or I'm gonna die. You know, this thing I was gonna feel like you're gonna die, you're gonna die any moment. And you know, sometimes it's so, oh Raheem, please make me some tea or no, I don't have to do that because he gets so constantly realized that you know my mother's not the same person, I'm a changed person, completely changed. So he's always there, he said, Mommy, you want me to get you some tea? You want me to get you a pain tablet? You want me, you know, something, you want some water? He's always there to help me. And I don't want to take advantage of that. I don't want to put the pressure on him. I don't want to overwhelm him. You know, I know he got to be feeling scared and frightened a lot of the times. So he sees sometimes how his mother, what his mother's going through and how she's feeling. I try to hide it a lot of times from me, but I ain't tell you no lie, if he, if he wasn't there, I don't know what I would have done. Um, secondly, for you ladies who have children and you're going through um, menopause or premenopause, if it is just as bad as what I'm feeling, um, try to minimize how much you, 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 you bark down on them, because sometimes it could be, a, especially if they have to write exams and all these things, and remember they love you, and if they love you, they care, and if they care, they want you crying, they would cry too, they sad, they, they can't think, I hope my mother's alright, you're, you're the one that is there to take care of them, alright, and then if you, you're sick, they're sick too, so sometimes I try to hide it, I can't always hide everything, but I really do, um, I appreciate him, I love him, last night we did dinner, we went to the um, Ellie Corner restaurant, restaurant it's a new restaurant we in Guyana here to have restaurant week so it's kind of it's be nice to go to different restaurants see the different cuisines the different food that I have to offer we went to this one that recently opened Elicona um, it was awesome everything was awesome about it but what was important I get a chance to go there with my son and some other friends and he's such a loving person everybody love him you know they appreciate him being there one of my friends tell me she's a girl last night I really enjoy your son company and I enjoy his company every single day you know and you know going back to what I said about talking to you guys about your children and your husband you know if you have a husband or you have some a partner we have to minimize sometimes we have to say oh this thing gonna be forever so you know don't don't overdo it don't scream too much because when the mood swings is there we don't care what we say and how we behave but you, you would want to take a check and say well you know uh, take your time out if you know you're feeling irritable just take your little time out go and lie down rest and, and come again because when you lash out and when you behave too bad if they don't fully understand and sometimes you would explain and they would say they understand but then the feelings would still be hurt if they feel that you're being unreasonable sometimes they could forget that oh this is something which she's going through this is something what this person is going through and it's a scars in order to hurt her behave like this sometimes they forget so their feelings are hurt and then it will just cause a lot of tension and, and make it more worse in you because imagine you going through you going through and then your home got tension and got a lot of animosity going on you don't want that so um be very appreciative for your, your family your members that are, that are around you um, even sometimes if you feel that they're not doing enough be still be appreciative for whatever little that they're doing because remember you going through it it's not them so they won't fully understand everything if they never went through something like that so we have to be reasonable we have to you know calm ourselves down and say well oh um, you know this is my husband I can't behave so you know or this is my child and they're doing so much already I don't want to you know burden them down, overwhelm them too much or so on. While it is good to, to let others know how you're feeling and what you're going through, um, for those that depend on us, 
for those that we love and care about. We don't want what we're going through to hurt them to such in such a way that it make them feel like they don't want to be around us. Because trust me, um, you need somebody around you. You need somebody to care for you, love you, show the genuine, sincere um, love and, and, and give you the time to actually listen to you or sit with you, even if it's just for sit there while you're not feeling so good. You just need somebody to be mushy mushy. Now there's where your husband part coming or if you have a partner you want the mushy mushy but if you don't have a partner to be mushy mushy with you, you're on your own. So if you don't treat them cheer and good and treat others good around you, it can be worse. So um, yeah, that's what Nori wanted to say today. Um, this is just a short video. I love you guys. Um, I'm praying for persons like myself who are going through this situation. I always know that you're not alone. The God other women going through the same thing. Some going going through it more worse. For recently, I've been reading a lot of articles, you know, because um, a lot of women, a lot of women commit suicide because of this. A lot of women um, go staring mad because of this. I don't know how to deal with it. And even though that I'm learning and I'm sharing what I'm going through, um, it's hard. It's not easy. Don't ever take for granted. I'm talking this here and. It's easy, it takes a lot out of me to tell you what I'm going through and I'm doing it because nobody never tell me and it was like whoop, a slap in the face like huh, you know and for know that it's next 10, 15 years I could be going through this for another 10 years, 12 years, 13 years and just imagine having the thought to feel like you got, you got another 10 years of this, you know what it could do to you so you can't think too much about it. So I want to thank you guys for listening. Please share the video. Please like it. Please subscribe. Let others become aware. I'm seeing a lot of it popping up now. Since I'm talking about menopause and premenopause, um, Facebook have been having a lot of it popping up on my page. I'm reading. I'm getting to learn more. And you guys too were able to benefit, you know. So um, talk to someone. I've read under one of BBC, BBC share um, information about menopause and when I went into the comments most of the women in the comment section said I never know what menopause really is it just started just something make you feel hot hot flashes and down there your trouble with your bones your giant pain in your back pain in your elbow all kind of different things start happening to you you know and you're scared so most of the women said they didn't know, they didn't know, they weren't aware, people are not talking about it. Let us talk about it, let people know, let your children know if you got girl children, start teaching them about it from now, so that they could be able to fight for the sanity when these things are. I mean, thank God not every woman is going through this, because I don't think if everybody had to go through something like this, it would have been real terrible. My mother didn't have it that bad, my mother had that flashes, but you know, this is what it is has become so passionate when I'm talking, you know, about menopause or premenopause. Um, and let me tell you, you see how I'm speaking to you guys, I cannot always speak like this when I'm talking about menopause, you know. Um, sometimes just for laugh, it affects me, you know. Sometimes I carry on a conversation for hours. You see how I'm speaking to you because I'm feeling good today. But tomorrow I might be able to speak like this, you know sometime tonight or next 10 minutes from now it's like the move will go, go from A to Z in a blink of an eye so I just want you guys um, um, be prepared teach your children and for women who are already into the stage or reaching the age step step up here and take a vitamins calcium your, your beacon and all these things use these things and just take care of yourself google the information take care of yourself take care of yourself drink a lot of water oh and don't eat pepper don't eat no pepper once you don't go into that flash it make it more worse all right guys love you um nori don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share talk to a friend share it with a friend let them know what is going on if you see somebody looking their friend that looks space out ask a question you never know you can help them just by sharing the information with them Love you. Have a blessed day. Bye.